Welcome friends and collectors on this all new edition of Diecast Emporium. We're going to be taking a look at the new for 2022 150th scale Ertl Prestige Collection John Deere 870 P tier hydraulic excavator. So the item number for this model is LP77342. That information is relevant and important if you live near a John Deere dealership and you wish to order this model through your local John Deere dealership. Taking a look at the model, you can see it's presented in the clear window style packaging that Ertl has introduced its John Deere construction models in within the past handful of years. Ages 14 and up, adult collectible, prestige collection Ertl, the name of the model, and the John Deere logo. The sides of the box have two different pictures of the excavator. Here's the other side with a different picture. And on the back, you can see the machine at work. Underneath, on the bottom of the box, here is your... John Deere license sticker, a brief breakdown of all of the different series that Ertl's, that Ertl does, along with their age ranges. So the collector series, the prestige collection, both of those, again, geared towards your adult collectible, while replica play, keyword being play, is designed for your younger collectors. Down here, again, there is your LP logo. You'll need that series of letters and numbers, again, if you wanna order this from your local John Deere dealership. All right, let's get this thing out of the box. I can tell you, unfortunately, this thing is zip tied in at least three different places that I can see. I have not previously inspected this prior to doing the video, so we're gonna find out together just how many there are. So there's one holding the bucket down, and if I had to guess, there's probably at least two, yeah, two holding the machine and the tracks to it. Any additional ones to the back? No, these are just ties. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save us some time. I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, I will have the model out and we can begin the model review in earnest. All right, as you can see, we have won the battle of unboxing the model without damaging the model. There are no less than three tough plastic flex cuff twist ties. Then there are three additional plastic ties you're gonna to need to take your time when getting this thing out of the box. That's all you need to know. All right, a couple things about the real 870 P tier excavator. It is powered by a 512 horsepower Isuzu engine. Its max digging depth, depending on configuration, is 23 to 36 feet. It has an operating weight of 188,716 pounds. One of the coolest selling points about this excavator is that it has surround view camera system with 270 degree visibility with LED lighting. And finally, it comes with the grade management ready with John Deere Smart Grade 3D grade control. If you want any more information, feel free to download the free product brochure on the John Deere website. Back to the model. It is a noticeable upgrade from any previous John Deere Ertl product. And that can immediately be attributed to the fact that the John Deere construction Ertl models are now being produced out of the Diecast Masters factory in Hong Kong. You can see that the decals are very sharp, including the John Deere logo, the 870, and the P for the P series. Moving along to the back, you have several warning labels. Again, the large John Deere graphic there, just below the camera. Moving to the right side of the machine, the details on the decals continue, very sharp. These are decals as well for the side vents, even though on camera they may look like they are perforated through, they are not. It is just applied with decals. Unfortunately, as we move up the boom and the stick to some extent, you can see where you still have these rather large and unsightly rivet holes where the model is connected and made. Maybe a skilled collector could possibly fill these in and then color it, it would look a lot better. A subtle decal that you may not immediately notice are these yellow arrows on the inside of the track frames. Just to show you that there's one on the other side, you can see that there as well. The detail inside the cab is okay. It's not a whole lot to write home about. And that's partly due to the fact that you can't open the door to the cab and see inside, but there is a John Deere logo with a graphic right on top of the cab at the rear. Let's take a look now from the top down view. You can see that there's some anti-slip texturing on top of the car body 
as well as your exhaust, couple air cleaners. Your handrails are plastic, and to me anyway, they look a little bit oversized and a little bit fat for the model. But you can see some hydraulic hoses that go up the boom. Some of them are thin and flexible, while others are part of the mold and the casting. Your walkway outside of your cab, that is a thick casted in piece, and it does have some anti-slip texturing built onto that as well. Your tracks themselves are metal. They do appear to be spring-loaded, and uh, you can ro rotate them freely in either direction. So that seems to work quite well. And your bucket is a standard five-tooth aggressive digging bucket. That is the details and the decals. Let's pause momentarily. When we come back, we will take a look at the functions. All right, beginning the function overview. I showed you the tracks, but it's worth taking another look at them. Here we can see what they look like from the earthworm view. And again, you can rotate the entire machine 360 degrees. When you get this, it is really, really, really stiff. So you will have to work this in a little bit. So there you go. And again, the tracks do seem to sag a little bit, but you can see that they are segmented. And in my opinion, anyway, they look pretty darn good compared to some of the other plastic track links that we've seen on Ertl excavators, especially large Ertl John Deere excavators in the past several years. As for opening doors and features, there are a total of three that I have found on this model. You have the one large main one, the opening engine hatch. It is not labeled or branded, but as we have learned, there's your Isuzu motor inside. Here's an additional opening engine hatch or service panel. Take your pick. And then the last one that opens is this panel right here. I would encourage you to use a pointer tool like I'm doing because it can be a little bit tricky to open. Getting it to pop open right here. And there you have it. With a little bit of persistence and persuasion, it finally gives way. And this one is probably the, the one that's the most rewarding to open and look at. You can see all of the component detail on the side of the engine. It is not highlighted or painted with any sort of detail, but you can see the cast of detail inside. All right, that's the opening panels. How about the main excavator functionality, which is what you primarily care about? So, this is a parked pose. Bring it in a little closer. That would be another parked pose or your transport mode position. How about some digging depths? Unfortunately, at least on mine, and again, this can be fixed if you want to file these down a little bit more, but mine will only go down to here without being stopped by the cylinders. So there you go, that's as far down as it will dig. Again, a bit disappointing, but it is what it is. You can bring your stick in almost completely close to here, which is good, that's very good to see. And again, you can curl your bucket almost all the way in as well. All right, before we end the video, let's show this in a couple different poses. First, we'll have it loading a dump truck. In this case, I have a 150 scale Western Star 4900. Now this excavator is a large machine, so I doubt very seriously you would see too many of these poses in the real world. Perhaps this would be best with an articulated dump truck or even a smaller off-highway truck. But you can see that the bucket is nearly the entire side or width of the dump box of this on-highway dump truck. And likewise, let's bring in a larger low boy. This is also a Western Star. I do have the double booster set up on this. Again, in most states here in the U.S., to be compliant with rules and regulations, more than likely you'd have to take at least the boom off. At least the stick off right here and the bucket. But, you can see it does make an interesting transport load. There you go. That will conclude my review on the new for 2022 1 to 50 scale John Deere Prestige Collection 870 P tier excavator. Gotta say, all things considered, there is no question this is a step up in both quality, detail, and performance of an Ertl product. That is undisputed. However, 
It still suffers some of the same problems that we've been seeing with excavators from Ertl and Tomei for a number of years, and that is primarily the digging depth and issues with the cylinders. You can easily get around that by filing this down, but again, that's something we shouldn't have to do when you are paying this kind of money from a product, so just bear that in mind. Those are my thoughts and my opinions alone. I'm interested to know what yours are. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I will see you in the next review.